What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a supply air system. So particularly, we are going to create a secondary supply air system. Okay? So in Revit 2025 or any version, Revit system is a logical connection between system components such as our air terminals here and mechanical equipment. So this logical connection that we are going to create, so it allows Revit to perform various analysis just like the energy analysis. So we are going to create air system after we have placed our air terminals and our mechanical equipment. Okay, so we are going to create a logical connection between the system uh, connection or system components. So after creating the logical connection, so we are going to create ductwork to physically connect the system components. Okay, so this workflow is the Revit recommendation best, best practice when you are on a uh, conceptual uh, stage for system creation. Okay, and then we are also going to use the system browser in this exercise. So let me just open my system browser. So if you still remember, you just need to right click and then look for browsers and then look for system browser, right? So there's my system browser here below. So you can put that here at the bottom or you can also drag that away and then you can drag that to move that to your side here. Okay. So just make sure systems here is selected. And as you can see, let us just quickly look at our system browser. So we have an assigned elements here. So every components or MEP components that we are placing inside the project, by default, it will be placed under the unassigned uh, system. Okay, just like this one. So we have placed our mechanical equipment and then we have placed our air terminals. So if I'm going to click the air terminal here, so you will see that your system browser here highlights. And then I can click the plus icon to show it. So that air terminal is on mechanical. So let me click that. So that is on supply. So let's click that one. And there you go. So that's our supply diffuser this one so I can also select from here and it highlights the model or the element okay so this return air supply air or system is based on the connector on the family okay so like for example I'm going to select the air terminal and then I'm going to select edit family Okay, so when you create a family or mechanical, electrical, or plumbing family, so you need to put a connector. So that's why you have here connectors, right? So that is the connector. So if I click that connector, so what's that? So that system is supply air connector. Okay, so that's why if we go back to our floor plan, so that particular family is under the supply air uh, system. So it depends on the connector that you are putting on your family. Okay? The family in MEP is different from the family of architecture and structure because for MEP, you need to place a connector for you to be able to classify the correct system on that particular family. Okay? If you create a door family, you don't need to put any connector on that one. But if you create an air terminal so you need to place the connector so that you will be able to classify what is the system of that particular family okay so same with if you are going to place a return diffuser okay so the connector of the return diffuser is obviously return so it will be placed here on the return air okay Right, so basically that's how it goes. So every time you place a mechanical uh, family inside your project or electrical family or plumbing family, as long that one has a connector like this one here, the connectors. By the way, this is the family editor. So you see these are the tools 
that we need to place if we want to create an MEP component family. Okay, so you need to put a connector. Okay, so it will be properly classified on our system browser. And by default, every MEP components that we are going to place in our project, it will be placed under an assigned system. Okay, so now we are going to create a system. So as you can see here, we have a zero system for the mechanical. Okay, so we're going to create a system. So how to create a system? Very simple. You just need to click the air, any of the air terminals. So for example, these five air terminals, I want this to be included in one system. And this as the mechanical equipment. Okay, so you just need to select any of the air terminals here. So like, for example, this one, I click that. So when you click it, you can see you have here this create systems panel, right? So since I only have one connector on this family, which is a duct connector, so I only have this system here. So there are families that has multiple connectors, like for example, this family here, okay, this water source heat pump. So if I click that one, you see it has a several connectors. So it has an electrical connector, uh, ducting connector, mechanical, so it has a plumbing connector, okay, it has a mechanical, mechanical, right? So that's why if I select this family, you can see the create systems panel here. It contains several system. So I can create a dock system. I can create a power system and I can also create a piping system. Okay. Because it has these connectors on that uh, family. Right. Now for our air terminal, I only have one connector here, which is a dock connector. So if I select that one, I only have one system to create, which is duct system. All right, so let's click this one. And then here you can specify the system name. Okay, but for the meantime, I'll just going to select here, okay. So once I select, okay, this system here that is placed on my unassigned system, it will go to the mechanical system here. So if I select here, okay, this one will become one system. So let's try that. So I'm going to select here, okay. There you go. So I now have one system created. Okay. So if I'm going to select modify to deselect the air terminal, okay, it looks normal, right? But if I'm going to select now this air terminal that I just included to the system if i click that you see i now have two tabs here i have modify air terminal that has these buttons like connect into system inspector and other tools so aside from the modify air terminal so i now have here dock systems there you go okay so if there is already a dock systems tab when you select your air terminal so that means that air terminal is already included to the system so that's another way aside from looking at your system browser okay again i'm going to select modify if i click this you see it now highlights here under the mechanical system and it already has two tabs modify air terminals and then dock system so that means this air terminal is already included to the system right so if i'm going to click the other air terminal so it's still under an assigned system and i only have here one tab so i don't have the dock system tab here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the other four air terminals to the system okay so that is what i'm going to do Actually, I can select all of this all together to create the system, but I'm just trying to teach you how to add an element to the system, okay? Which is what we are going to do. So to do that, you need to select the element or the family that is already part of the system, okay? So which is this one? And then after that, so let's go to the dock systems. 
Okay, so when you go to the DAC system, we are now going to go to the system tools and then we are going to select edit system. Okay, so let's select edit system. By the way, after we have selected our air terminal, if you look at the properties here, it shows you here some information that that particular selected air terminal has 425 CFM and then that's the name of the system and then that's the static pressure of that particular air terminal. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select edit system. Let's click this one and then here on my edit doc system, I now have these tools. So I have by default add to system it's already selected by default and then there's another tool here remove from system so if you want to remove an air terminal to the system you can select remove from system okay but we are on the process of adding so add to system and then i can use window selection like that or i can also select one by one click click Okay, and then after that, finish editing system. There you go. So now it becomes at 330. Uh, okay, so previously this one is 335. But since we already included our five air terminals to our mechanical system, so it becomes 330. And if I go here, click that. See, I now have that system. So if I click that, so it highlights the system here. Okay. Now, what we want to do next is we want to include the equipment that will supply to these air terminals. Right? So we need to have an equipment. That's why we have the equipment here. So we are going to add this equipment to the system. So how to do that? It's the same procedure. Just click one of the element that is part of the system. And then after that, go to the dock systems. And then look what will happen here on my system browser. So I'm going to select here, select element. Okay. And then if I click this one, look what will happen here. So I'm going to select this equipment. There you go. So it's now added to our system. Okay. And then after that, just select modify. So you can already investigate the properties here. So if I click this, okay, if I click this one, it tells me that the water pressure drop there is this one, the water flow is this one, the air flow is this one, blah, blah, blah for that particular uh, equipment. So we can expand that. We can click this system here and it will highlight the whole system. So this is the equipment. You can move the slider down so you can see also the flow there, the size, and then the space name, and then the space number because our space here is this one, right? So if I click that, so that is lounge uh, 2, 2, 3 for the air terminals, okay? But for the equipment, so it's placed on corridor 2, 3, 4, okay? This corridor here. Oh, where is that space? This space here. Okay, if I click that, so that is our uh, corridor 234, which is where we place our mechanical equipment. So it says here. Okay, so if I expand this one, so I can see these diffusers are located on lounge 223 with the flow and then the size so this is our lounge 223 okay our system browser is very useful in our design now the next thing that i'm going to do here is i'm going to change the name of my uh, system here because the name of my system is mechanical supply air one right so that's the name of my system so i'm just going to change this one so i'll just use the name of my mechanical equipment so if i click this one so that's the name the mark so i'm just going to copy that Control c and then just click outside and then after that let's click the system here again 
and then let's change the name control V okay and then enter there you go okay so that's now the name of our system so water source heat pump 2-45 okay so if you click that one you can see that it is a pipe tonnage okay so that's the flow and then these are the diffusers that is part of that uh, system okay so basically that's how you create your uh, supply system okay and another thing that we are going to do next time is we are going to generate a ductwork for our simple design here. So that is what we are going to do next time. But for now, hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.